November 884 Charlie Alpha. November 884 Charlie Alpha, mine. Number 884 Charlie Alpha, Cessna 172. Two people on board. Our destination is going to be Hagalar. And then after that, we're going to come back here. Cessna Charlie Alpha, copy. Runway 08. Runway 08 for number 4 Charlie Alpha, thank you. Alright. So now. Since we're set, we're going to lean it for taxi. So this is just a knob that balances out the gas and air mixture, air mixture going into the engine. Um, and it saves us fuel. So we're going to do that before we taxi. And we're going to runway 08. So for that, super easy. So we're basically here. Runway 08 is over here. So we're going that way. And then we're going to look at the windsock to make sure the windsock basically says that. And it does. So now we'll go ahead and start testing. That aircraft is up there. I'm going to try to figure out what we're going to do. Because he's going to come this way. It's just like, it's basically like driving but with your feet. So if you want to go right, you're going to push the right rudder. And if you want to go left, you're going to push the left pedal. The tops of the pedals are brakes, so if you feel me tapping the brakes, that's what they feel like. So that's usually helpful in a turn because the only thing that turns is this nose wheel. And so if you really want to get a tight turn, and you have to tap the brakes to get a really tight turn. And otherwise, uh, you're going to, you know, you're going to have to go a little bit farther out of the turn. Um, but yeah, it's super easy. So we're literally just staying in on this yellow line. Um, not going too fast, not going too slow. It's not really a speed limit, like how, you know, how the, when we drive at work, they're like, oh, you have to drive 50 miles an hour. There's not a speed limit, <laughs> like, number on the ground. Um, the bigger aircraft can, but the small aircrafts don't. So the training basically tells us to brisk a walk, not faster than a brisk walk. So especially when you're a student, you don't want to taxi too fast anyway. But once you get a little bit more comfortable, um, you can get a little bit faster because certain airports have super long taxiways. Not here, but in the States, they can get really, really long. So, you're like, oh, this is going to take forever if I'm, you know, if I taxi at a walking pace. It's going to take me 20 minutes just to get from the taxiway or the apron to the runway. It'll take literally forever. <laughs> so, and I'm literally just keeping the speed with the throttle. So, I'm then breaking what I need to. Luckily, everyone that was t flying earlier is done. So, but I guarantee when we come back, there's going to be at least 30 aircraft around here. That's what usually happens. So, all right. So we're, up, we're pulling up to the taxi. I mean, not the taxi. Christ. Uh, the runway hold line. I'm going to announce that I'm ready for departure. Number four, Charlie Alpha is ready for departure. Runway zero eight. Charlie Alpha, copy it, Windcom. Thank you, Fortunately Alpha. Alright. We're just going to make sure again one last time, because again, they're crazy out here today. I don't see any aircraft. So, we're going to take the runway. So, this is the shaking I was talking about. Okay. Now it's like... Yeah, there's not really something you can fix. Yeah. But, I mean, the last time it did very well. It wasn't too bad. So, we're going to get right up in the center. Uh, make sure your feet to the floor, pull your feet back please for me. Landing light's gonna go on, taxi light's gonna go on. And you wanna secure any loose objects. And we're ready to go. Full throttle. Air speed's alive, it's in the green, everything looks good. We're reaching 50, 55. We're gonna pull the nose up. And we lift off. Moving easy, huh? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so, you hear what I'm talking about when you breathe into the microphone? It 
activates. Yeah. yeah. It's not, or it's the, it's the sound of the engines. You can't really control that. Okay. Established traffic pattern. And I forgot to hit go fly over here. Now I've reached our cruise altitude. Now I'm going to push the nose down so we don't climb any higher. And we're going to try to maintain that 5,500 for this entire flight. So the aircraft is going to speed up now. We're going to hear the prop speed up as well. All right. And the entire time, I just want to make sure that the aircraft doesn't do anything else. So I do that by using this trim knob. And this trim knob is basically like cruise control, so to speak. It, if you hold on to the yoke, you can touch it for right now. So this trim, if I push it in, you see how it moves the yoke forward? Yeah. So it's basically like it keeps where we want the, the control surface to be. With the little tab that sits on the back of the elevator. And it just moves it ever so slightly. So that way if I let the plane go, for example, and it starts to climb, I push the nose down just a tad bit, push the trim wheel in, and it'll keep it stable. It'll mitigate the... Yep. So like right now we're descending just a tad bit. Um, but we're just going to see what the plane wants to do. So the plane still wants to climb. But now that this plane is where the speed that we want it, we can slow it down just a tad bit. Don't need the power all the way in. Same thing with the... Oh, two more. And then we're going to save some fuel. This is dope. Two, three. Oh. So I, I'm diving a little bit, that's fine because we're a little bit below. 5,500. So. Um, so controlling an aircraft is super easy. So again, you can put your hands on it for right now. But you don't have to do too much controlling, it's super easy. So all it is is just little movements like that turn the aircraft. Okay. Really, really the entire time I'm flying, that's how we do it. It's really small. So you go left, you turn left, you go right, you go right. And same thing with pushing up and down. So we're a little bit low in the altitude. So all I gotta do is pull up just a tad bit. And the aircraft is gonna start climbing. Right. Very, very slowly, but it climbs. But for the most part, if you trim the aircraft where you want it, it should do, it should move the, uh, how hard you wanna climb or not, so. Okay. Um, and some aircraft, they have yokes, which is, it work, they work exactly the same. The only difference is they're probably a little, those aircraft are a little bit more uh, relaxed as far as like controls go. And so you you can you, you might even use way less input than what you do with this one. Because as you see, it doesn't take much to get this thing to really turn. Right. So it's really, really light movements. All right, so now that we're here, we're going to go do our cruise checklist. So cruise checklist, max power, 75 uh and we're already there, I already set that. Elevated trim is already set. Mixture's gonna go lean, we already did. Aircraft lights off, that's required. We can turn the landing light off, and we're good. So we're just waiting to get there, basically. So, and that's the, that's the city of Koblenz that we're gonna fly over. Okay. And we're gonna fly right over the airport over Koblenz. I've been to this airport one time when I was, I was training. The airport that we're flying to, I believe, is way up there in the distance between those mountains, basically. Okay. Um, like, yeah, pretty smooth out here, like I said, for the most part. Yeah. Um, and since we're going to go to there, we're going to go ahead and set, uh, not that one, but my checklist. Sorry about that. So in here, Polaris info is going to be on 135.130, or 10. So we're going to change that to 135.150. So when we're done talking to login, which I should probably, I could have talked to them, but we're going to leave their airspace not too long, so I 
probably don't need to. Um, basically, I'm going to talk to the radio, tell them we're coming in. Once I sw once we get closer, I'll switch to it. Okay. Oh, literally it. They're a little high. I'm going to release the throttle a bit and let us get down. We're about 100 feet off, so I want to make sure I'm accurate. So one other thing we can do is on this GPS, uh, it works just kind of like my iPad. It has all the airport info already built in. So I can go ahead and go E. e. Then, uh, angle ours is Echo Delta Kilo Bravo. So now we're going to turn to Kilo. Bravo. Bravo. And it should say Angle R, Bone, Germany. That's exactly what the airport is. You're going to press activate twice. It's going to create a purple line from right where we are to the airport. That's good so I can tell exactly how far we are. Even though I have my iPad, but I like to have all of this working at the same time. Uh, right. For the most part. So it shows that we have a distance of 36 nautical miles. Not that far at all. We'll probably start, and it also shows on here and here. So they all talk to each other. Um, they're all made by Garmin. Okay. I told you, this is cool, isn't it? Yeah, this is super cool. Yeah, man, I love flying. Aguilar Info, number 884 Charlie Alpha. November 884 Charlie Alpha, Angela. Number 884 Charlie Alpha is a Cessna 172. Two people on board. We're going to be inbound for a full stop in And uh, we took off the pines. November 884 Charlie Alpha, runway 11 in view, QNH 1037, right turn pattern. Number 44 Charlie Alpha, runway 11 and QNH 1037, thank you. So he told us we're going to use runway 11. Hold me on mic and not through line signs. So we're going to use 11 here. That's just what I was talking about, like the radios are kind of finicky. So when we get there, all we're going to do is enter the established entrance point, and then we're going to go to the left, and then we're going to make right turns into 11. Okay. I'll send that down.
try to go a little bit of a stare cut for right now. Still see the aircraft, still descending, good. I can see the airport, good. And the traffic pattern is a little weird because it's not a, a complete circle, it's like a it's like a trapezoid. <laughs> So, not like a, usually it's like a, it's like a square. All right, we're, we're, we're at the altitude we need to be. So we, want, we don't want to descend anymore. See the one ray right there. So now we're going to start slowing down. Carbine's going to come in. Start slowing down. We're going to keep about there. Speed check, flaps 10. And that's where you feel the slowdown. I don't see that airplane. I do see the airplane still. So I want to stay away from. Unfortunately, Alpha is number two for landing. So we want to watch flying over the villages, but we're not over a village right now. So these are the villages that they don't want us flying over. But I just need to extend out the final because he's landing. And unlike, like I was telling you before, you saw how close those airplanes got. I am not one to get close to another person landing. That is dangerous. So you can see his little plane out there. And then we can go laps 20. And that's where you're going to feel the real slowdown. And now we're going to turn final. The number 84 Charlie Alpha is turning final for runway 11. Alright, get ready for landing. Seatbelts are good. Good. Yep. And we're gonna go full flaps. We're gonna set our trim. Everything looks good. Echo X-ray Tango Sierra. Echo X-ray Tango Sierra, hello. Tango Sierra, zurück aus Speyer. Uh, meine Position ist uh, Drachenfels, bitte Land den Pult. Echo X-ray Tango Sierra, 1-1, Kuna 1037. 1 0 2 3 danke. It, but it worked. There you go. November 884 Charlie Alpha, welcome to Langada. What is your intention? Number 4 Charlie Alpha, we're going to taxi to parking for, uh, we're going to come and pay the landing fee and then we're going to head back to mines. Okay, it's copied. Parking on grass in front of the tower. Number four, Charlie Alpha, we're going to park on the grass in front of the tower. Thank you. Hello, hello. You should be able to hear me now. So, when you're done with that. <laughs> 
All right, so grass is kind of finicky to taxi on. Here comes that glider. What's up? Yeah, no, I see it. I'm gonna wait for him. Delta Echo Alpha Sierra, rechter gegen Anflug 1-1. The wings of that thing are so long, it's crazy. Yeah, no. Do you see each other? Are you gonna watch out for each other? He's coming over here speeded. It's like, I don't know if he's coming this way or not. This is what I'm talking about. This is why I, I don't rush it at all. Because look, look at that. I can't move. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of your way because I saw this coming a long time before. He took the right of way. He has the right of way. He's on the active taxiway. He's just going to parking. Delta Echo Alpha Sierra, rechter Queranflug, bis der 1-1. Cool. The reason why I have to pull up on this thing is because uh, the, the nose wheel uh, is going to sit a little bit into the grass, and so it, it could be, it, it's hard to taxi. L luckily, the grass isn't muddy, but if it was muddy, it'd be super hard. Alright, so now we're back to taxiing. On the taxiway, and we're going to runway one one. Number eight four Charlie Alpha is ready for departure runway one one. I don't see anybody. I was at a towered airport, he would actually say, uh, you're cleared for takeoff, blah, 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 blah. But because we're not, I don't have to worry about that. All right, feet to the floor, you're good to go. All right, my feet to the floor, throttle's gonna come in. Airspeed's alive, we're passing 55. We're gonna put the nose back. And lift off. Turn on info, the Delta Echo Kilo Mike Victor for the Hangar, zurück nach uh, Echo Tango and November Golf. So, jetzt muss ich eine Frage stellen: Köln, Bonn uh, oder Hangela? Uh, sorry, Hangela natürlich. Wir sind ein bisschen in Hektik, weil der Flieger gerade nicht angesprungen ist. I think he was ja, talking about the wrong uh, Delta Echo Kilo Mike Victor. Sounds like he was talking to the wrong person. Yeah, Mike Victor. What's up there for? Now we're going back to Geilenkirchen now. Short scanning for Geilenkirchen. Echo Tango November Gold. Super. 1-1, QNH 1037. 1037 to 1 Mike Victor. These people living here probably get annoyed. <laughs> yeah. Delta Echo Alpha Sierra, end tile 1-1. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to fly straight and then we're going to exit and fly over that castle just in front of us. Uh, but we're going to climb to uh, 1,150 and then we can't climb anymore because that's the traffic pattern altitude. Alright, so now I'm going to talk to mine, so we're going to go stare cockpit. Mine's info, number A for Charlie Alpha. That's not Charlie Alpha, mine. Number A for Charlie Alpha, Cessna 172. We just took off from Hangalar and we're back for a full stop and landing. 8 for Charlie Alpha, number 08. Runway 08 for number 4 Charlie Alpha. And just a quick question, you guys are still open, right? Yes, until 8. Thank you, number four, Charlie Alpha. 
Here you go. All right. So like I said, we planned our approach already for the most part. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna basically be parallel to runway 08, and then we're gonna turn left and do a, basically a long final lift. Mind um, you can see the tower. And the airport's basically right Put this up. Number A4 Charlie Alpha is on a long final for runway 08. No, we don't want to descend anymore, but you can also see the airport right there. All those little lights out there. Yep. So this is what I was talking about, how these jets can get really low. Yeah. <laughs> what is that, like a 747? It looks like. Yeah. Yeah, that looks just like a 74. Delta Echo, Mike Uni from X-Ray, we are in the impact of Enterflug 08 and we have the two machines in sight as number three. So I see a plane there. This, or that was a bird, I couldn't tell. This looked pretty small. I'm in the bahn with three knots. So this is where we're going to have to watch out for traffic. And I need to high altitude. A little low. Delta Echo, Mike Kino from X-Ray, we sind im Endeil und haben die beiden vorausliegenden Maschinen in Sicht. Ähm, hier right, gehen so wir nochmal noch noch durch über die Grasbahn und check. über die beiden Maschinen. Wir werden ein bisschen eng. Wir werden ein bisschen schlafen und wir werden auch ein bisschen versuchen, ein bisschen zu steigen. Hallo, Delta, 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 Schönen Tag noch, dir Alex, mach's gut, ciao, ciao. Ja, ich kann sie sehen. Tschüss, guten Heimflug. Der eine in der Pattern geht das Weg. Danke, Ulla, ciao. All right, so your heels are to the floor. Yeah. Both of our heels are to the floor. Flaps up, 55, All right, go. Flaps 30. Yeah, Delta, Delta, Fox, for one landing. And flaps full. So you gotta put throttle in, that way you don't stall the aircraft, because flaps slow you down. Right. They give you extra lift, but they slow you down at the same time. So we just want to keep monitoring our speed, we're at 69. So we're, we're pretty good, we're on a perfect approach basically. I don't want to get too low from here, don't get any higher. So really when you're in slow flight, the main thing is your throttle is what controls how high and low you go. Your, your, this is controlling your speed. I know it sounds funny, but that's how we learn. <laughs> okay. So if you're too fast, you, you gotta pull back. Well, you, you kind of do both. Let's put it that way. You kind of do both, but that's the main thing. So. November 884 Charlie Alpha is final for runway 08. That's almost uh, wind calm. Thank you for Fort Charlie Upper. Die Delta Echo Mike Uniform X2 RW gehen in den rechten Gegenanzug zu 08.
And that's it. Good. Told you my landings are yeah. Spoke too soon. Anyway, my landings are much smoother <laughs> in here. Delta Echo Mike Uno from XW train rest two and eight. Okay, that 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 side shift was me. <laughs> At first I thought I was like, what? We don't, we don't got no wind out here. That was that was a hundred percent me. I what happened was the nose wheel still wasn't off was off the ground. Because when we land we wanna keep the nose wheel light because the uh the nose wheel is uh how do I say it? Uh it's not as strong as the other ones. Right. And so the thing is if you hit the nose wheel into the ground first, it'll break the nose wheel in some cases. And so you keep it light. The problem is I kicked to the right while the nose wheel was on the ground. And so that's what made us turn. <laughs> because it was off the ground and when it hits the ground, it, it's going to turn wherever you want it to go. So uh, that's basically what happened. All right. So that was a smooth landing. I was actually really happy. That was, we touched out. You felt both of them. They were like, duh, duh. it was like you barely touched it. The nose wheel came down and then we moved to the side, whatever. Forget about that. After landing checklist, we are going to come up. Cover, he's going to come cold. Flight control is going to be set for the wind. Transponder is going to go on a standby. We're going to turn these stupid strobe lights off. The lab lights going to come, uh, the landing lights going to come off. The taxi lights going to come on. And we're going to taxi to the fuel. And that's it. See flight. That was really cool.